somewhere in Tokyo. There's a man who's in search of greatest formula for creating the greatest cuisine ever had. On his greatest journey, he finally found a way to cook as a professional. Where salt and black pepper abounded, and all his wishes came true. The food exhibition now begins. Hello, everybody. This is Douglas again from the previous season of Food Expedition. Today, I like to cook the fried rice that are actually originally from Singapore. I have been to the Singapore and Hong Kong, or Taiwan, and also other Shanghai and any other Asian regions and many other places in my life, and I found that. There's one single tip to cook fried rice very well. Singapore is known as the nation surrounded by the deep ocean. And back in the 13th century, you know there was a British Empire. They did a friendly amount of resources to utilize that they, so that they can engage into the trading business and many other deals in the Asia region, such as Singapore and also Hong Kong, also Malaysia and India. And black pepper at that time was very important ingredient for their meat and their beef or pork or chicken to preserve for a long time. Black pepper was also the single very important price indicator at that time. For example, the gold price and also the black paper has the same level of importance at that time. What they did is hire the local people to grow the black paper and trade with salt and many other local foods that are originally from the ocean or land and they have many scales on the horizon. Around the early 13th century, between the 16th century, was also known as the Golden Age of the Pirate in the Bermuda Triangle nearby the Atlantic Ocean. And in the same exact time, in the same exact scale, in the globally, there was a trade known as the Triangle Trade between China, India, and Singapore, and Malaysia area. Fried rice is actually developed from the, those kind of region, and you can actually taste the fried rice in every corner of the world around Asia. They cook the fried rice in a very specific rule. They have a very strict and a very various way to cook, but there is one single rule that has underneath the fried rice. They use the local seafood, also the local beef or local pork, that are originally from that region, that specific region, so that they can taste the local. And also they trade the black pepper and the salt around the time. They put the, those ingredients in it. And they fry the rice with the egg and the white rice that are coming from Vietnam at that time. Oh, and also for your historical knowledge, I mentioned the piracy in activity in the Atlantic Ocean, also the Bermuda Triangle was around the 13th to 16th, but specifically 16th century was the most time. And the 13th century was around the Asia, there was a Japanese pirate around the East China Sea. And also, uh, a little while, uh, j just a short period of amount of time after the 16th century, it was the, uh, I say, triangle uh, rations, triangle 
trade in the Asia uh, done by the British Empire. In the early like, 19th century, the uh, British Empire was known as the Victorian era, that they gained uh, so much wealth from that certain amount of area of trade business. So they have the Titanic after that and also many industrial revolutions as you may know. That's the historical record. Thank you. I've always wanted to try to cook the very nice one for the fried rice that I tasted before in Singapore. They use a little like shrimp, this kind of shape. Also the some some sort of local ingredients that I never tasted before. And I found that in Japan, actually. So I will show you today how to cook the Singapore seafood rice. And I also will put the Atlantic salmon in it. Since the Atlantic salmon oil is very healthy to taste. The oil is coming from fish is known as the very healthy point for many other reasons, like they have the vitamin A and vitamin B and C so you can grow your brain's mu muscle known as the brain cell so it is very health healthy for your life and also brain and, uh, and many other things as you can mention so please stay tuned well I just googled it actually the, about the salmon oil and they have the uh, vitamin D which is next to ABC and D and also the omega-3 and they are both uh, good for the brain as I mentioned thank you since my kind of chin is like a little little bit a little bit thick thicker than the previous month I think I have to stay healthy and uh, need to reduce my amount of weight so today I'd like to show you the very nice fried rice which is very healthy. Fried rice doesn't sound like healthy but it will do sometimes if you cook very well.
please also don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.